New tonight, a Mooresville fish store owner is facing felony fraud charges after victims claim he took thousands of dollars for fish tanks and never paid the distributor for them. On Box 46's Northeast Bureau Chief Sydney Heiberger tonight spoke to those victims today. One of the victims gave us this stack of papers. It's all correspondence between him and the owner of Lotus Reef, Scott Riley, and to the aquarium manufacturer, Waterbox. Jose Estevez is a proud member of the reefing community. So when he and his wife bought a new home, he says they decided to treat themselves to a housewarming gift, a new fish tank. They placed a nearly $10,500 order from Lotus Reef on January 27th, who in turn was supposed to order the tank from the manufacturer, Waterbox. Jose didn't want his face to appear on camera. It's not a little... Pet smart fish tank. This is a pretty massive fish tank and um, costs a lot of money. According to messages we obtained, Jose checked in with the owner of Lotus Reef, Scott Riley, continuously. He was told the tanks would be shipping soon, but soon weeks turned into months, and Jose said things were starting to feel a bit fishy. And I reached out to the company, uh, the manufacturer themselves. And uh, that's when they informed me that Lotus Reef had not paid for the tank, even though he was invoiced several times. Jose received this email from Waterbox. It says Lotus Reef was invoiced for your order on July 2nd. No payment for that invoice was ever received. Jose filed a complaint with PayPal, got his $10,000 back, and says he used the money to reorder the tank directly from the manufacturer. This is going to be my fish tank and plant room. I haven't had my chair set up. But Brian Kelly is still fighting. After family, spirituality and stuff, the reef tank was like one of the most important things to me. Kelly says he ordered a nearly $7,500 tank back in November 2020, a tank he still has yet to receive. He also says he left thousands of dollars worth of his fish and corals in Scott Riley's care until his new tank arrived. It wasn't until I reached out to Waterbox about five weeks ago and they said it was never ordered and he's done it to other people that I realized I was scammed. In an email to Brian, Waterbox said, we do not have an LX aquarium on order for you, nor a deposit from Scott Riley of Lotus Reef. They went on to say they terminated their contract with Scott Riley back in July. But he still has thousands of dollars worth of my livestock and stuff, so. I don't know if I'll get that. We're going to have to do civil stuff next. We did speak to Scott Riley's attorney who told us they plan to file a motion tomorrow to dismiss the charges against him. They tell us they have evidence that proves Scott Riley ordered the tanks when he received the payment, but they would not send that proof to us until the motion is filed. In Mooresville, Sydney Heiberger, Fox 46. Sydney, thank you.